Next. So, I want to know what you can't live without. Besides Oprah and Gwen. No, I mean, in your kitchen. In your kitchen. In my kitchen? One of my favorite things is this pasta attachment on your KitchenAid mixer, which makes making pasta twice as fast and twice as fun. And what you really realize when you have something like this is that fresh pasta is literally eight to ten minutes away. And my really? kids get to battle over whether you they're going to... fresh pasta? All the time. All the time. All and once you've made the right one, the kids will battle for who gets to throw it in and who gets to catch it. And then every time you just bring it in a little bit closer on the number and you just roll it through like that. So it's just like the hand crank machine, except it's twice as fast and twice as easy. And you'll literally be making raviolis two or three days a week. Oh my goodness. Isn't this machine the machine though? It is. Yeah. The and then in the tool department, these crafty rasp kind of wood shop looking cheese graters. Yes. Make the most amazingly like it's like the difference between skiing on powder and skiing on ice. When you have this kind of cheese over stuff, it, it, you don't have to eat so much of the cheese, and you right. get that incredible coverage and that delicate flavor. And when you talk about really good Italian food and really good Spanish food, it's about balance. It's not so much about everything, lots of it. Yeah, I have these in different sizes because you get different gra grades, right, right? exactly. Yeah, okay. And what's it called? I don't know what's it called. Uh, we call it a rasp grater or a microplane. A microplane, okay. Your faves. Okay, so my faves are this Gagano steamer. It's kind of an investment, but honestly, <laughs> it's the best thing I've in my kitchen. You can make steamed veggies, fish, rice. It's incredible. And you, you, we reheat food in it, so we don't, you know, zap it in the microwave. We do it in here. Uh -huh. Like, you can put a piece of salmon with uh, sitting on beautiful herbs for, and put 18 minutes, and you have, like, perfect poached salmon. Really? It's so great. This is my favorite thing. Your favorite thing? This is my number one favorite thing. Okay, oh, I love this. This is my other favorite Woo, thing. Woo, I love this. So, don't you love this, too? I don't know how to use that. Okay. Really? No, but There's never just... wine left in my house at the end oh. of the night. Oh, okay. See, in my house, there's always wine you left at the, the end of the night. Put this in the wine bottle. We don't yeah. have the wine bottle. And then you pump and pump, 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 and it sucks the air out. Yeah, and it so... leaves this cork in. Yes, and it leaves the cork in. And then the next day, you can have the other half of your bottle of wine. <laughs> yeah. For those who are drinking alone. That's right. <laughs> Hold on, she has two kids watching her. It's all right. All They're right. participating. All of Mario's recipes are on Oprah.com, and you can watch again Mario and Gwyneth's fabulous food lovers road trip, Spain on the road again. Dot Sat com. Saturday nights, starting September 20th on PBS. Check your local listings. It's been great having you here. Mario's new book, Spain, a culinary road trip with all the Spanish recipes uh, he fell in love with, is out in October. So it's Gwyneth's book, too. It's Mario and Gwyneth. We did it together. But that's OK. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> they did it together. Excuse me. Gwyneth and Mario, thank you so much. Oh, Bye, you. everybody.